What is going on guys? Welcome back today to a brand new video here on AFTV Young Guns. Sorry if I can't quite speak properly. I've currently got a cold and I've got a blocked nose and I can't really breathe so it's quite hard to talk. So this video is going to be interesting. But today's video we're going to be talking about the future of a certain Arsenal player that goes by the name of Meza Ozil. Now there's a lot of there's a lot of questions, there's a lot of opinions around the Meza Ozil situation right now, of course. Is there a problem with him and Unai Emery? Is is what's the problem basically? Just before we get into this video, if you don't know who I and there will be a link to my channel in the description. Matt Yar, of course, my name's Matt, and I don't always look like a drowned rat like this. I've just got out of the shower and I've obviously got extremely flat hair, and that's why I look like a five year old right now. But yeah, without further ado, let's get right into this video. Meza Ozil, he's been a very creative player, um, an extremely talented and gifted uh, midfielder within the Premier League down the recent years. Um, and his stats, really, when you look at them, stats don't lie, and they are they are insane. In his time in the Premier League, Meza Ozil's created over over 500 goal scoring opportunities. That's 500 goal scoring opportunities. Like that is a lot of opportunities to score a goal in the Premier League, obviously. Um, and obviously in that time, you've got to remember the man in front of him was main man Olivier Giroud pretty much um, and it's not really the likes of a Lacazette or an Aubameyang if you get me. So obviously it's now frustrating that we've got the strikers that we've wanted for for so so long that now Meza Ozil isn't playing. But why is that? Why do you think Meza Ozil isn't playing for Arsenal? Does he get along with Emery? Is it he just isn't suiting Emery's style of playing? He, he, he's not a player of Emery's system. Drop a comment down below and when the video goes live I'll try my best to respond to most of them um, and then from, we'll go from there. Meza Ozil hasn't really played much at all this season and on top of that he keeps getting dropped from the squad with supposed tactical reasons right. Make of it what you will. Everyone can take their own opinion but no one knows exactly what's going on. Obviously Meza Ozil being the highest paid player at Arsenal earning £350,000 or thereabouts you're going to expect him to be one of the main the main characters within the changing room you know you're not expecting him to be getting dropped from the squad for tactical reasons. Personally, this is my opinion, if you will, on the situation, right? In any job role, if you're not doing what your manager or the owner of the company is essentially asking you to do and you're not fulfilling those requirements, you're either going to have to work extremely hard to adapt, like with many things, you're going to have to adapt to adapt to the changes, adapt to a new pressing style of play. Or like I said, you're going to lose your job and you're not really going to be in the manager's plans. Unai Emery, you've got to remember he's a coach, so he knows the talent of Meza Ozil. He knows what is in Meza Ozil's locker. For example, when we played Leicester at home, you can see what he can produce on his day. But players that are on 350 grand a week, you can't have it on their day. You need them to be on their day every single game. You need it to be consistent. You need them to be a leader within the squad. Meza Ozil, is he that? To be honest, the answer is a no. If a mistake happens on the pitch or someone doesn't pass to him where he wanted it, he's just waving his arms around, he's putting his head down, and like his mentality and his attitude isn't isn't right exactly as what it would be for a leader. If if someone makes a mistake and you're a leader, you you know you're clapping them, you're you're getting behind them, you're giving them confidence, especially the younger players around you who are still learning the game, still you know working their way up still working their way up and making a career for themselves not you know having a go at them on the pitch and all this do you know what i mean leaders don't do that essentially you've got to be constructive about it not just oh wave your hands little hissy fit on the pitch and do you know what i mean it's, it's almost like alexis sanchez when he used to throw his gloves around and he used to just get annoyed at everyone else it's almost like meza Ozil has done so much in his career that he has no motivation to go another step forward if you look at it that way if that makes sense it might be that Meza Ozil, you know, he's he's what he's in his 30s now. He's probably thinking about settling down. You know, he's obviously got his. I think he's got married to his wife. In in terms of his personal life, he's obviously gonna. He's got his wife. They're settling down. Do you know what I mean? They're probably, you know, they're gonna have a family or something. And he, he's got all this money coming in anyway. Of course, he's got his own brand. He's got his own business. He's got everything in place. He's living life right now. Let's be real. Unai Emery, I think he's tried to get the best out of him and I think he's tried to give him opportunities here and there. But then again, Meza Ozil, realistically, it's all well and good picking out a pass to say a Kolasinac against Burnley at home, but then when it comes to Liverpool away, and then obviously we had Liverpool away at the end of December, and if I'm right, he wasn't even in the squad for that game. So it's like, with a player like Ozil, you need him in your small games at home that, you know, teams that are just sitting behind the ball are hard to break down, like your Burnleys like your you know like your Leicesters, like like these sort of teams that you know kind of come come to the Emirates and try and sit behind the ball try and play that defensive style you need your Meza Ozil to pop up with a little ball to Kolasinac in that game but then you also need him at Liverpool you then need him at Anfield to to be a leader to be a big name character but in my opinion I don't know what his future is in terms of Arsenal 
The rumors are he turned down a move to PSG uh, on a loan deal, I think it was in January. But in my opinion, I just don't know where this is going to go as of the summer because Unai Emery plays a really, really pressing style of play. You know, he has his players, you know, closing everything down. You know, you look at it when we're at home to Chelsea, for example, you know, Chelsea have a corner and we literally press them all the way back to Kepa Arizabalaga, I think his name is, um, back to their goalkeeper. We literally press so much. Meza Ozil, he doesn't really do that. Do you know what I mean? Well, obviously, when he came on and played against Man United in the FA Cup, that's the only, if I'm right, that's one of the only big things fixtures other than Man City at home this season that Meza Ozil has featured in, you know, against sort of the top six teams anyway. Other than that, I don't think he's featured. Obviously, he featured at Chelsea away, but he got taken off. And that's when, obviously, Unai Emery made a few comments. And then you had a few games, you know, like, for example, Bournemouth away in November. Unai Emery comes out and says it's too physical for him. To be honest, I just don't think Unai Emery rates him as a player, but he's not going to come out and say, I don't like Meza Ozil, or I don't want Meza Ozil in my team, he's not in my future plans. Because if he came out and said something like that, and said, oh, I don't like him, I don't want to play him because I don't like him or I don't like his style or this that and the other you know when managers have digs like that at players he could potentially lose the dressing room and then there could be all these other things that kick off so maybe he's just trying to see it as give him until the summer transfer window if he doesn't adapt to his style of play and he doesn't start pulling his weight then he'll be going in the summer that's personally the way I look at it obviously as frustrating as that is for many fans if Meza Ozil isn't pulling his weight then he would have to go but then you've got to ask yourself who would buy Meza Ozil but then he could go to a team like say Manchester City and have this you know outlet around him and he could go there and just walk in and become one of the best midfielders in the Premier League again but obviously it's going to be interesting to see what happens with Meza Ozil personally I want to see him play in the Arsenal shirt man I want to see him creating things I want to see him racking up those assists I want to see him linking up well with Aubameyang and Lacazette at the end of the day I have no idea where it's going to go from this like I say drop your comments down below like I say my opinion is going to differ to your opinion we may have the same opinion who knows like I say I'll reply to many as possible and yeah hopefully we see Meza Ozil play for Arsenal again drop a like subscribe to this channel if you are new of course subscribe to my channel there'll be a link in the description that'd be greatly appreciated I'm gonna get some rest I'm gonna hopefully be a little less ill next time I'm talking to my camera um, and yeah until next time I'll see you all very soon